What's going on? Welcome to the House of JoJo on YouTube. Today I'm going to do a quick review of the Flaircon Air from Do uh, Chauvet DJ. Um, you can use this with your smartphone by downloading the Flaircon app. It's free. You can you know put it on your iPad, whatever. Uh, you can use this as a DeFi hub. You can connect your DMX controller to here. You can also use it with DeFi compatible lights, DMX lights, DMX controllers, like I said. Mainly what I bought this was because I wanted to use this on my smartphone and my tablet. So let's go through it real quick. There's some important things that you need to know before you connect. I, I thought it was was jacked up and I was ready to give it a one review, but it turned out it was user error. So it's important things that you want to do. So just bear with me. If I go too fast, you can pause, rewind, whatever. Go to your information section. I'm actually running the old version, 1.1. I think the new version is 1.3.7, which if you have an older version, I talked to tech support. They said you could send it in and they can update the firmware for you. So go to information. By doing that, you're going to hit menu until you get to information. Hit enter. This is important. We're going to find out your network ID. Mine, I had changed it to Chauvet DJ. Uh, and I'm running under Wi-Fi channel 9. I guess in my area, it's 9. In your area, it could be totally something different. You know, 1 through 16, maybe 1 through 40, I don't, I don't know. Um, so this is important. This is a, I think when you get out of the box, it's going to say Wi-Fi test. I changed it to Chauvet DJ. So here's what we're going to do. Since my Wi-Fi channel, again, in my area is 9, I don't want to use channel 9. So I'm going to go ahead and manual channel. And I'm going to go ahead and use channel, say, uh, 14. Do channel 14. Hit enter. You're good. Basically, what we're going to use this as a Wi Fi transmitter to send a signal to our, in my case, the Freedom Hex 4. So remember, you want to send the signal from here to the Hex 4. And when you open up the app, the app sends a signal to the Flarecon Air. And then the Flarecon Air relays that signal to the Freedom Par Hex 4. Now remember, we set our manual channel to 14. This is what we're going to do. We're going to set our Freedom Par Hex 4s to channel 14. Let me go ahead and turn off this light here so you can see a lot better. Okay, so how do we change the channel? Remember, we want to receive channel 14 on here. We don't want to transmit a channel from here because when you transmit the channel from here, then it's all screwed up. That's what happened to me. I was setting it under uh, D... T, which is transmitter channel because I'm like oh well my transmitter is channel 14 I got to put it under channel 14 so it can work now I'll show you where you got to go hit menu keep hitting menu until you get to where it says s dash t r s dash t r that means that you are setting the transmitter or transmitter because this is could also be used as a transmitter so so you may get a channel that says DTCH. Don't go to that channel. DTAS auto search. DR receive auto search. You don't want to do that. Since we already set our channel to channel 14, this is where you want to go, okay? So DRCH, DMX receive channel. And what channel do we want to receive? We want to receive channel 14. So I had it on 15. We're going to go down to 14. Hit enter. Now don't go, don't hit anything else but the menu button. Go to menu button until you get to channel 6. And then you hit enter. And my light is on because I already had it kind of set here a little bit. So now what we're going to do is open up the app. Now remember, remember it was important when I showed you Go to your information. You need to figure out what. Oh, before I get to that, I'm sorry. I totally missed this. You want to use this as a Wi-Fi transmitter. So go to input mode. If it's under DMX, see how my light turned off? Because it's assuming that I'm going to run a DMX to it or whatnot. So I want to use this as a Wi-Fi transmitter. So go to uh, go back to input mode. Hit enter and then select Wi-Fi and see how my light turned on mainly because I'm probably connected to 
the Wi-Fi network. So, so find the network Chauvet DJ or you uh, or yours is going to say um, Wi-Fi test when you connect to your Wi-Fi. So I actually changed the name to this. I was having fun. Hello, is it me you're looking for? That's what I changed it to. So once you connect to the Wi-Fi test or, you know, Chauvet DJ or whatever, uh, open up your Flarecon app. Here's where it gets kind of cool. Here's actually where you can change the name of the network. So if yours is Wi-Fi test, hit hit that tool right there. See where it says, hello, is it me you're looking for? I'm actually going to change that to, uh, you know, Chauvet D. J. Chubet DJ. Chubet DJ. I'm gonna hit okay. I'm gonna hit save, and it says configuration save. Saved device will reboot. While the device is rebooting, um, oh, here's what's gonna happen. Watch this. Device disconnected. Why? Because I changed the name of the network. So now I gotta go back to my Wi-Fi network. And col and connect to see how I change it to Chauvet DJ. So I'm gonna go ahead and connect to Chauvet DJ. Chauvet DJ, connect. Obtain an IP address. Connect it. Okay. So now go back to your Flarecon app. Open this up. Here are the list of lights that you can actually use your the app with. The Freedom Park Quad 4, Freedom Park Tri 6, Hex 4, Quad 5, RGBA, and Freedom Park. So, for my instance, I have the Freedom Park Hex 4. Connect to that. And uh, you should be connected. Hopefully, uh, I went through all that correctly. So, lights. There's a little bit of a lag, but not much. You can use the palette to custom, you know. You know, give the clients to be like, ooh, what kind of... Here, look, you adjust the color. Like, oh, I like that color. You know, for instance, I have a wedding that's going to be turquoise. Um, so I'm going to let the client decide exactly what color they want. See the save button right there? Or icon, whatever. You hit save, and you can actually save it to the location. So if you're having a wedding... There's a color that's saved right there. So when you get there, boom, it's exactly the color that they want. Now here's another thing that's cool. Let's go back to the X4. Your mixer, you can customize the value on it exactly how you want. So if you find a color, an exact color online, you can actually type in the you know the numbers and whatnot. So that's a basic quick review of the Flarecon Air using the app and the Freedom Park Hex 4. All right, real quick. I have four of these and only one is working on the app. Let's see, here's a color going around the wheel, the color wheel. So here's what's going on. I have to set all these to the right channel. Remember I was using channel 14. You can actually be using a different channel. So go to STR. Enter DRCH, that's what you want. Channel four, uh, 14, enter. Menu, 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 six channel, boom, that's on. One more over here. Okay. STR, DRCH, that's what you want. Oh, this was on seven. 14. Boom. Go back to menu, menu, menu until you hit channel 6. Boom. That's on. One more quick one here before my time runs out. STR, DRCH. That's what you want to set the receive channel. Go to 14. Enter. 14. Enter. Exit out. Menu, menu, menu until you hit channel 6. Boom. There you go. Got all four working now. And here is the app.